Hi friends! So I know it's a cliche, but LA is blessed with pretty amazing weather almost year round. One of my favorite things to do in Los Angeles is to pack a lunch and have a picnic in a scenic, peaceful location. Although LA is known as a bustling city, there are surprisingly a lot of options for this. In this video, I'm gonna share all of my favorite places to have a picnic in Los Angeles. If you're a new friend, my name is Jessie and I make videos that are all about how to have the most fun on your budget travels without sacrificing comfort. All right, let's jump right in. Pick a beach, any beach, we have plenty. If you want a busy, touristy, happening beach, then you might want to check out Venice Beach, which it kind of gets seedy and it's a lot, but a lot of people just like to go there once and see it. Or you could check out Santa Monica Beach, which is another kind of popular, happening, touristy beach. If you want something quieter, you might venture down to Dockweiler Beach or even drive down to Hermosa in South Bay. If you're craving a scenic drive on the PCH and you've got some time, Check out Malibu. You have tons of options, just be sure to bring sunscreen. Self-Realization Lake Shrine is a beautiful temple in Pacific Palisades. Angelinos visit this temple to escape the city and meditate, and it's a beautiful, serene location that doesn't really feel like it's LA at all. Bring lunch and a blanket, find a place to sit down in the shade and enjoy. A lot of people don't realize this, but there is a small lake in Echo Park, and there is a park surrounding the lake, so you can take a scenic walk around the lake, you can rent pedal boats and like pedal through the lake, and uh, it's a great place to go with friends, it's a great place to take a date, and it's a great picnic place. Now this is something a lot of people don't know, especially tourists, is that there is an abandoned zoo in LA. It's completely open to the public, it's been turned into a park, so you don't have to jump over fences and trespass to get there. And they've even added picnic benches. I recommend Googling how to get there so you don't get lost, but you basically park at Griffith Park and it's about a three quarter of a mile walk there. So about a mile and a half round trip. Guys, I had no idea that this existed until a couple years ago when I went to the Museum of Natural History and it's right outside and it's just this gorgeous, gorgeous rose garden and it is so much fun to have a picnic in or walk around in, take pictures in. It's very romantic. It's like Alice in Wonderland-esque. I highly recommend it. It's right across the street from USC. So if you go to a football game there or you're touring the campus, you can just walk across the street and see the Rose Garden. You can also take the metro there from Culver City so you don't have to worry about parking. If you've ever had to Google fun outdoor things to do in LA, you've probably come across Kenneth Hahn State Recreation Park. Now this is a huge 400 acre park. It has hiking trails, a Japanese garden, barbecue pits, and plenty of places to picnic. The park itself actually has 100 picnic tables and 60 barbecue grills. So bring some friends, bring some stuff to grill, and have a cookout. So Van Nuys also has a lake, who knew? It's called Lake Balboa, and they also have pedal boats. I really wanna try a pedal boat. That's why I keep getting really excited about pedal boats. Similar to Echo Park Lake, this park has a pretty path that goes around the lake, and yeah, you can pedal, you can walk, you can picnic. It's all great. Amir's Garden is definitely one of LA's best kept secrets. It requires a bit of a hike, but the views, well-tended gardens, and secluded locations make it totally worth it. This park is 100% maintained by volunteers, so keep that in mind when you visit and be very respectful to the land. To get here, you park by the Mineral Wells picnic area just off of Griffith Park Drive. This is near the Wilson Golf Course in the northeastern part of the park. Then you walk up the fire road until you see water tank number 73, where just around that next curve, you'll find signs and tables, and the signs will read Amir's Garden. Those directions were so weird. I feel like I need to give you guys like a treasure map. Hey guys, while editing, I realized there actually is a map on the website. So go to amirsgarden.org to see it. Will Rogers Park is one of the most well-known hiking and recreational parks in Los Angeles. If you're an avid hiker and you don't mind a small nine mile round trip hike, then you're gonna wanna go up to Inspiration Point at Will Rogers. If you bring a backpack full of food and drinks, 
Once you get to the top, you'll have an amazing view of the city. I recommend going in the cooler months, but if you go in the spring or summer, please bring plenty of water and sunscreen because it does get pretty hot up there. Sure, might seem like a weird place to have a picnic, but it's also a weird place to have concerts and festivals and movie screenings. And all of this stuff happens anyway at the Hollywood Forever. This is a gorgeous old cemetery with stars like Rudolph Valentino and Mickey Rooney buried here. I think the first time I saw like a giant crypt was when I was at the Hollywood Forever Cemetery. Like it's insane and so interesting to see these like houses that have like two or three people in them. Now I'm not telling you to go disrespect some woman's place of rest by eating some potato salad while sitting on her grave. No, that's how you get haunted. But this cemetery has a little green kind of park area that there are no people buried in and it's really pretty to go and just bring a blanket and sit and have a picnic. It does close at 4.30 on the weekends and five o'clock during the week. So you can't go there at night for dinner or creepy ghost dinner, but go there for a nice lunch and don't bring any ghosts home. And those are some of my favorite places to have a picnic. If I've left anything out or if you're an Angelino and you're mad that I recommended Venice Beach, which is fair, I hate Venice Beach too, but some people like to go there, then feel free to leave me your thoughts in the comments. Now September series is called Free LA and it's all free things that you can do in LA. The last video in this series is going to be next Sunday. And that video is going to be about Hollywood film sets in LA. So if you wanna catch that, be sure to subscribe. Happy travels.